Armin. 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 The plot begins with Permian's high school football team and their road to state. Not only is the road to state a conflict, but there are other conflicts as well. The book talks about the poverty and racism within these towns and how high school football can corrupt a player and the school itself. The main characters in this book are James Booby Miles, Mike Winchell, Brian Chavez, Ivory Christian, Don Billingsley, Jared McDougall, and Gary Gaines. Each of the characters have their own individual impact on the story. Booby Miles was the all-star running back for the Permian High School football team. He was absolutely wonderful when it came to football, and it was obvious that he was going to be going somewhere in his career in football. However, Booby Miles was the perfect example for corruption in high school football. Because of his excellence in football, he did not have to care about grades or nothing according to school in any other aspect other than football. Booby Miles injured his knee in a preseason game and could never perform well again. He stopped receiving offers from big schools and ended up quitting the team. Mike Winchell was the starting white quarterback for the Panthers. Brian Chavez is a very intelligent Mexican-American player. He actually graduated from Harvard University after attending Permian. He is seen as one of the better characters in the story because of his academic value. Ivory Christian is an African-American middle linebacker and he was actually one of the only players to receive a Division I football scholarship. Don Billingsley was the Permian halfback. His father was actually a local legend in Permian, but now he has drinking issues, and this makes the relationship between the two rough, but football brings them together. Jared McDougall was the Permian offensive tackle. Gary Gaines was the head coach of Permian. He was a bright football mind who constantly had to deal with pressure. As the season went on, Permian's fate rested in a coin toss because of a three-way tie. Permian won the coin toss, but lost in the semifinals against the corrupt African-American Dallas Carter. The season and book ended with the seniors leaving and the new ones coming in to take their place. That next year, Permian went to state and didn't lose a game all season. The life after football was much different. The book explains that Permian doesn't explain to the players that most likely after high school there isn't anything else to go to, and it is displayed at the very end of the book. The ability to analyze and judge oneself is probably the most important theme in this book. The author comes to realization of how much it is lacking in these towns in Texas. The adults of the community, the ones especially who make the decisions about the economy in this school district, have no idea how much they're affecting their children and the impact they're having on them. They are so obsessed with winning the state championship, they can't see what they're doing to their town and how it's corrupting the town in the whole. The author's style is in the tone of a reporter. He writes a story about a town, its problems, and what it lives for. He is realistic about presenting the highs and lows of a boom and bust town which lives for Friday Night Football. As seen in the book, you can see that he is blatantly just bashing on the town about how they don't even know their own town, but they only know everything about football. This has been Friday Night Lights with Armin Terkman. Thanks. 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 Thanks for watching.